Come up through here, tack it down a little bit. It's basically straight shot across. Okay. Uh, this is where we ended up. Need some packing over here. That spot there where I turn is. Yep. Comes that way, and that's what's hanging right now. So, basically, you cable up, and you can do your job. What you're best at. I'm gonna find all right, yeah, I see where you're at. I hear you. I put a little ding out there where I was hammering. Okay. Yeah, so it's in this area where that um, that guy is, so you have to pull out the insulation. Okay. So we can expose the rim joists, and then... That's the area where we'll cut into it, but I need to make sure that there's nothing in that area behind the insulation. This is the panel we're going to work on. So we have this wire coming down, you know, we'll tack it up there and then we'll have a run mix connector in here and uh, run it into the panel. And we'll use a breaker on this left side since there's nothing here occupying it at the moment. Yeah, in a little bit. Okay, we are off. Oh, good deal. So, just like we worked on the other panel in my house, uh, we have to do this knockout here. So we can uh, run the Romex connector. Came with the true value. <laughs> and, yeah, so we picked up a interchangeable breaker. This is a breaker that's compatible with this panel. It's a 20 amp breaker. With this wire, we're using a 12 gauge wire. We can use a 15 amp breaker or a 20 amp breaker. Okay, we take the breaker and this end here goes into this little tab. Push it into place like that. Now the breaker is installed. And we want to make sure that it's off. You got enough wire down that end, right? Uh huh. All right. So then we're gonna. I'm gonna need a clip. So we have a Romex connector. We have to install that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will need you to pack that up there later, though. Yeah, I'm securing the clamp on the Romex connector, doing this so that the wire doesn't move. So now we have to tighten. Uh, you can see there's two screws, one to the left, one to the right. Both of those need to be secured. The wire has to be centered in the center of that. Alright, then we use this tool to remove the insulation. So now I cut the ground wire short. We don't want a lot of excess wire in the panel. And that wire needs to get connected into this ground bus bar, which is earth ground that is separate from neutral. 
I use a Robertson's number two. It's definitely easier. You know what? I don't like that. I'm going to cut that shorter. Kitchen and O, Robertson's number two, it's a square head, right? And then we have uh, the wire for the uh, hot, that'll get connected to this breaker. And we have the neutral that gets connected to the neutral bar, which is isolated in a sub panel from ground. In the main panel, they're connected, they're bonded together electrically. So I just use this as a wire stripper. Okay, this screw head, it's a lug that will secure the hot wire in place. Tight. Just make sure that it's secured. So you have to make sure you're not getting the insulation, that you're actually biting on the, the wire when you tighten that down. So we have the hut coming to the breaker, we have the ground coming to the ground bus bar, and we have the neutral coming to the neutral bus bar. So we are connected electrically. Last thing we have to do is tack that up. Um, that has to be tacked somewhere up in here. Looks like they have a piece of... Uh, uh, Azek there, we could probably tack it to here if we have long enough um, long enough tacks, but otherwise we'll take it up there. This top one, we have to break out this top one here. Then there's two hooks on this panel to set it in place. Okay, so it sets it in place and then we can verify it fits. Everything fits. Yeah. Screwdriver. Just uh, securing it in place. And we'll keep this panel off uh, just for safety purposes until we're done all our wiring. Apparently Joe approves of the work. <laughs> Alright, so now what Joe's doing is removing this insulation. We need to see what's here. I got a feeling it's going to be that way on both sides. We really need to know what's on the other side of it. Say hi to your mom. You'll be on YouTube. Here. Come on, make it better. <laughs> now I'm making this pumpkin cut here uh, to allow me to insert my inspection camera uh, so we can see what's inside this wall cavity. I want to make sure I'm not cutting in any pipes, ductwork, or uh, wiring. 
So it's a good idea to have a working stud finder so you can use it to at least identify the starting point and ending point in studs. Oh, really? Uh, it would have been difficult in the floor area, yeah, there's something different about certainly this would have worked uh, in the area between the studs. Titanium. See initially. So it looks like duck work. Right? It's duck work there. I can put my camera in there. Oh, I see basement. Oh shit. Okay. You're gonna have to get a foam or a fire caulk. Do you have either of those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do have to patch that up. <laughs> Three M fire block sealant FB one three six. It's good shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all I'm doing here is just matching. This angle, draw that puppy out. And I'll draw this puppy out, and it looks like we have plenty of room here because the stud's going to be right around here in this line. So, can you hand me the um, box? I think it might be up there. Yeah. Close. Are you going that way? Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, if we do it horizontally, it'll work. So, now how are you going to? What's it? How are you going to attach that to that to the piece of wood? No, well, this this you got right. The, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stay away from that. So I'm gonna start drilling now. You okay with that? I'm gonna start drilling now. You okay? Yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to the to your left about two inches. Is that okay? One inch. Okay. that hole's big enough. See if you can fit the wire through. Let me know when you're going to run it. Oh, yeah. Can I pull? 
Oh yeah, okay, it works. Let me know when you're going to put it through. I'm going to start cutting out this hole. This is going to allow us to put a screw in. <clears throat> to secure this. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Can I pull? Okay. Do I need to pull more? Okay. Tell me when to stop. What's that? Can I cut the wire? Huh? Can I cut the wire? Yeah, okay, so we'll come in through here. Make sure I got enough. Take this wire through this way.
Alright, so this one's not going to do its job. This one will. Said this one's not going to work. But we can use it to. Change it. Hey, you got a drywall screw? Drywall what? Drywall screw? Screw. Yeah, know. you know, black, about an inch and a half. Used for putting up drywall. Yeah. Just a. Uh, Screwing this into the and what that'll do is that'll keep this box secure and from moving. So we hook up line uh, to this guy here. Just need to trim this wire or something. And so we're only connecting this to the line. The uh, outlet's not going to have any other connections. So this yellow tape, we don't need to worry about that. And the reason why they put that here is so that you don't connect it to the load side. Checking that all the connections are tight. You got electrical tape? Uh-huh. No, I need to. We're gonna wrap this with electrical tape. That's right back behind us. There. What's that? What's that? Tape. All right, all I'm doing is just wrapping this with tape. And all that's doing is insulating the lugs from contacting the ground wire. And we also have a screw in here now, and I don't want it contacting that screw. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now we have to bend these wires so that we can push this in. Go rid of the place. Go down, turn on the sub panel breaker, then turn on the main breaker. Sub panel is the upper right breaker. It's off in the main panel. Okay, that first. And then go turn on that breaker. Call me on the cell phone when you're going to do it. Okay, so now we're going to test uh, power coming to this uh, outlet. So Joe's going to call my cell phone so we can coordinate. Uh, we had the sub panel, which is controlled, uh, which is powered by a sub panel double pole breaker in the main panel. So he's going to flip that on first. Then he's going to turn on uh, the breaker that we just installed, and we'll see if we get power here. Okay, you hear me? Yeah, gotcha. Alright, so you can turn on the sub panel. Okay. Alright. That's on. And then uh, go uh, tell me when you're going to turn on the uh, the other breaker and be ready to turn it off in case something goes wrong. Alright. Yeah, the new one we just put in. Yep. Coming on. Okay, so it's on, so now we'll reset. Okay, I'm gonna test it. Okay, I tested it successfully. Okay, we have power to this outlet. Alright, you can leave it on. Okay, now Joe's gonna have some cleanup to do with patching. Not bad. Okay, so we can get a bigger bigger plate uh, to cover this or if he tapes this up uh, there's a trick that uh, Paul Peck has on his YouTube for how to fix uh, outlets that are cut where you cut around too much for the electrical boxes This piece needs to go in, and this is a pumpkin cut, so this just goes right back in pretty easily, and we'll put in a couple screws. The areas that we need to stay away from. So let's uh, double check what that area is. And I'm going to mark that as a don't go area. So we got this guy here, and this is a don't go. Okay, so we'll just put one. Oh, we don't want to go through that hole either. We don't want to go through this area here. Just right around here. We don't want to go through there either. And so we can go to the left and to the right. Give it up. 
Okay, now we're doing the proper thing, which is uh, to seal up the holes with fire block. Back on here. to the same level. There you go, Holmes. Sweet. So you just need to do a patch job. Yeah, looks good now. So Joe's going to handle the patch job, right? You're going to yes, handle the patch. Right. Yeah. Where's that piece up there? You got that one? Here it is, right? Here. right there, yeah. It's a pumpkin cut. Let's patch that up to the smells. That's why I cut it at an angle, so it just pops right in there. You come back two years from now, it's the same. Look, this, this will be looking the same. <laughs> you don't deep. think you're going to get to it? No, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Stefano came over today. John did a great job again. We knocked out the, probably something that a contractor would have paid. What made you pay a couple hundred? Three hundred to five hundred dollars per hour. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome job, by John. Of course, <laughs> I definitely recommend him if you guys look for somebody to, for friendly neighborhood uh, work. <laughs> You do Jack it. Of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> I see squares again. <laughs> now, the fridge is currently plugged inside. Rigged out here. Oh, uh, this is what we're saving them. That's a hazard waiting to happen. Yeah. Okay, so we just saved the Jenkins household from a major fire. Sorry about the, the mess here. My yeah, kids. So. <laughs> this is why I like arc, arc fault breakers. Because with an arc fault breaker, if that extension cord got worn through, it would. Uh, you, know, you got stuff that's going to fall on top. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I hear you. Here's the cord. Can you see it? You got it? Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. You can get it wrapped up somehow here. I'm going to plug that somehow on that end. Shouldn't be that long, right? Yeah. Jammed in here. Alright, good. See if you can pull it without getting jammed up. Good. Here we go. Moment of truth. The doors open. Oh yes, that's the ultimate test. Well, let me know. You. <laughs> Five stars. Five stars. Angie's list. Angie's list. <laughs> Here we go. Very nice. Fire hazard prevented. Yes, we saved them electrically. <laughs>